Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nida Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. Today I am very excited because I'm going to start a new series for all the renters out there. I will be talking about and guiding you guys. If you have a dream to work as a dentist in United States of America. So today's video is all about how to choose the perfect AEGD program. I am also excited as uh, today's topic is different as I have always been talking about United Kingdom. And if the people who are interested in knowing how you can work as a dentist in United Kingdom, then go and watch my videos. I have already created a series on it. So go and watch now. So today's topic is all about how you can choose the perfect AEGD program for yourself. AEGD stands for Advanced Education in General Dentistry Program. So are you guys ready? All my Dental Magic fam is ready. So let's get started. Before diving into the video, if you are interested in such videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the Dental Magic family. So coming back to the topic, before diving into the topic, here is a small disclaimer for you guys. So this topic and the video is based on completely my research and if you want the further details and I want to have the inquiry regarding anything then you can go and check out the website of the following schools that I'll be mentioning and I will provide the link in the description box below so you don't have to worry about and uh, you have to uh, hassle where to find the links so I'll give the links in the description box below so the best thing is do your own research this is just for your guidance and just for your help now coming to the main aspect that is what is aegd aegd stands for advanced education in general dentistry program this is a one year certification program that you have to do in order to uh, practice in united states of america it is an extensive training in general dentistry emphasizing on the treatment planning of the healthy person as well as the medically compromised patients so what happens is many of the state except virginia allows you to practice as a dentist post 12 month program of aegd many of the states need a gd program for you in order to practice as a dentist now i am not saying that the entire states does that but many of the states need a gd program for you to in order to uh, work as a dentist uh, whether it is a gd program or gpr program or any specialty certificate for you Comment down below if you want to know the difference between the GPR program and AGD program and the specialty certificate that you can gain in order to work in United States of America. And if you want to know the, dif the difference, then comment down below now. Now many of you must be knowing about the DDS program and they, they are not aware of AGD program. So let me tell you a small uh, comparison between AGD program and DDS program. So AGD program is a shorter course and uh, it has a, a time span of one year and it is faster to complete and it is much cheaper than DDS. But you are limited to certain states if you have done this program you cannot practice anywhere in united states of america and there are also limited chance of employability in terms of uh, working as a dentist across united states so you are limited to certain states to work as a dentist after doing aegd now coming to dds dds is i know it's a bit costly and uh, but if you are planning to do something of your own like a like a private clinic and all then i would recommend you to go for uh, dds as it is associated with banks and everything it helps you a lot in your employability and yes it is very very extremely reputed and it is well known program across the united states so i hope you get the difference between the two and 
if you want to know in detail then comment down below and i will give you a full detailed difference between dvs program and agd program or agd program and the other um, specialty certifications that you can do so the people who are thinking to get settled in united states and uh, according to the preference of your states if that state is allowing you uh, want uh, an EEGD program before you get settled and practice as a dentist in that state then I would recommend to you to choose uh, the EEGD program of at least 24 months that is more preferred over 1 uh, 12 months and uh, uh, that 24 months program may be extended up to three years depending upon the course and the person and the certain things that uh, that can be involved in the institution so just go through the institution so here the main recommendation from my side is that you should always 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 choose a 24 month program over 12 month program mind you guys uh, these two institutions and schools have tuitions these tuitions are the one which you have to pay from your own pocket if your pocket doesn't allow that much of fees of these tuitions and you're thinking to take a loan then you need to have a co-signer for these uh, loan i would say taking a loan is not a very good idea if you have that much of money if you can pay for these tuitions then that is the best option to pay it off from your own pocket rather than uh, taking a loan because it becomes a very big headache to pay them off so it's a best advice for you to have that amount to pay for the tuitions rather than taking a loan let's talk about fee structure now coming to the very main aspect that is the fees these program may ranges up from 100 to 120 k per year and these programs starts from 25 k to 26 k usd dollars which may be extended up to 50 k so it is a quite expensive program so if you have that much uh and if you can afford this course then i would say you can go for it i would not recommend you to go for uh the loan as it is a very big hassle and headache to just get rid of that loan now again talking about the very common and the most important thing that is the visa status so if you don't have the proper visa like for example if you have b1 and b2 visa there is a possibility that it might be converted into a proper visa these school may convert it for you but uh, for you to convert this visa into the proper student visa you have to contact these schools and institution and ask them if they can help you convert this visa into the proper student visa and you also have to make sure that these institutions or schools are giving you a sponsorship again you have to contact them and inquire about it whether they will they are going to give you a sponsorship or not and if you already have f1 visa status then it is very good for you as they will allow you to get into the course and you will not face any problem and one more thing the people who are foreign trained dentists and have the pr and the residency of canada the uh, program also accept those uh, students and those uh, foreign trained dentists again i'm telling you and reminding you that you have to contact these schools and institution for further inquiry and details and uh, you have to uh, contact them via email i will provide the website link in the description box below so you can go and check it out to the next question that is what all certifications you will be awarded after completing and uh, after doing a gd program so basically the uh, you will be awarded with the advanced general dentistry certificate and along with that these institution also offer you the msg program that is masters in science and dental sciences 
and also they also provide you the graduation level program that is ms in health professions education mba and masters of public health so these are some of the graduate level program they also provide and coming to the next thing is the number of positions available is 19 that is a quite a lot so you can easily get into it there's a small disclaimer that all these 19 uh, positions are not only for foreign trained dentists they also give uh, uh, preference to other students also now coming to the next thing that is what are you going to do and learn in this program so this program is approximately about two to three years of program and you are going to learn some advancement in speciality and uh, prosthodontic periodontics orthodontics implantology oral health and some of the research work is also included in this course Let's talk about the very important aspect that is what are the requirements to get into the course so the first thing is that they also accept the students and the foreign trained dentists apart from uh, who are not trained in us and canada second they do not need your license before you get into the course uh, they actually provide you aegd opportunity to enroll yourself for ms and msd programs the next is very important that is the english proficiency proof you should in order to uh, be a part of it you have to clear toefl or ielts that you are eligible for it the next thing is that you need to have all your document attested and uh, evaluated so ves is an agency that is world education service that uh, evaluate your transcript and other document uh, for your enrollment there is another uh, working agency also that is known as ece which is 70 to 80 percent of the people go for ece because most of the program institutes uh, uh, only accept ece so before enrolling for this uh, aegd program make sure and ask the, ask the institute which of them uh, which of the agency they are approving which they are allowing their uh, document to be attested from it is ece or whether it is west most of the institute goes for ece so make sure you know what your institute requires the application fees is non-refundable and it is around 195 dollar again go and check their website for the latest updates the next thing is they do not offer stipend they do not offer stipend to the foreign trained dentists the people who are having pr and residency of us and canada they are offered stipend in certain programs and in certain institutions but the foreign trained dentists are not offered stipend and one more thing the people who have pr and residency and the green card they need to apply for the different programs so before applying for the program just check the program code and apply for the specific which is uh, for you which is appropriate for you which is designed for you so before entering into the institution just get the complete details the people who are new and don't know what INBD is so it is an integrated dental board examination it is a high stake dental examination license your examination of US which you have to pass in order to work as a dentist in United States comment down below now if you guys want to know how you can, pa you can pass your INBD in a first go I would suggest give your INBD with ease and that is a must and a very important thing. Here they have not mentioned whether they will sponsor you or not so bef but they have told that they uh, intake the foreign trained dentist so before getting yourself into this program and enro enrolling yourself into this program inquire about this very clearly about each and everything that you want to know about this program your sponsorship your visa your conversion your conversion of the visa your program code what a program is suitable for you everything that you need to know you just inquire about it from the institution itself.
I hope you have got everything very clearly. If still you have any query regarding any of the uh, information in, uh, information that I have provided you in this video, then you can comment down below and ask me and I will answer you all. Now coming to the very important aspect. universities that offer this 24 month program so the first university is university of rochester eastman institute for oral health so this university provide the uh, total time span of 24 months of course and it is situated in new york and this 24 month course may be extended up 36 months so uh, check in uh, with the institute before getting into the course. The second university is University of Florida. Now the number of seats available, positions available is 12, which is quite less than uh, University of Rochester, but, it, but it's completely fine. You can give it a try if you think this institute is best for you. The other institute is St. Vincent Charity Medical Center, which is situated in Ohio States. So these are some of the universities that you can go for which provide you the 24 month program. So these are the uh, institute that provide you the 24 month program. There are many more which provide uh, the program but they may be extended up to three, uh, three years. So this was some of the uh, universities list. This brings me to the end of the video so that's it for the video and thank you for watching the video till end i hope you have got all your answers that you were looking for and if you have any more queries and questions then you are free to comment down below and i will give all the answers possible if you like the video and it helped you in any way then don't forget to share it with your friends and family if you are interested in such videos and you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button subscribe my channel and be the dental magic family as your love and support keep me motivated to bring such content for you guys and help you and guide you in every way possible so please show your love and support to my channel this was a piece of information for you guys and i hope and wish you all the very best for your future and i hope you decide the best thing possible for yourself and just trust yourself and go for it stay tuned till the next video till then stay safe be happy Allah Hafiz.